Okay. So, I don't need to tell you what a terrible time this is. But it's gotten worse. Um, I rarely get overly personal when I do these things. And quite honestly, I didn't even want to come on camera tonight. I just wanted to start it up, get into it, not even say a word, and not even respond to comments. But as I've come to understand change and trying to take the high road, in order to secure said change. You gotta be honest. You gotta put your best foot forward. You don't air all your dirty laundry. Not that I have really any dirty laundry. But, um... You just let it out. I lost my job yesterday. It was the most wonderful job I ever had. Um, one of you sitting in on this stream was the reason I got that job in the first place. So I want to thank you for from the bottom of my heart. I'm not going to mention any names and you don't have to uh, acknowledge it, but I made a very important connection at that job that uh, I'll be able to take with me. Um, the obvious reason why is because this coronavirus pandemic is uh, not only killing people, but it's uh, affecting people who are healthy or damn near close to it and uh, forcing the, um, the local governments to uh, take action and... Um, do what they can to stop the spread of the virus. So, I don't want any sympathy because we're all in this together. I don't want any of you to use this as an excuse to, um, you know, give me charity. I mean, if you must, um, Lucky Zilla comics are available for sale, but uh, effective yesterday, the entire Lucky Zilla comic book catalog is available online, free of charge to read, and it will remain that way until this pandemic has um, it, until it's not a pandemic anymore. But uh, for now, I'm content to try to uh, bring a little bit of comfort to um, those of you who are quarantined, self-quarantined, in any event, not going out, not going to school, not going to work. Lord only knows how any of us are going to recover as a result of this. And dare I start talking politics, you can only imagine um, the things that uh, people are saying. I don't blame them in the least, and I'm with them on a lot of uh, issues. Oh, especially something that I saw earlier. Oh, I'm not going to get into it because it makes me so mad. There's time where, there, 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 okay, I'll say a little bit of this. There are times where when you ask a very simple question, a very valid question, and you let it go unanswered, and not only do you let it go unanswered, you use it as an opportunity to attack. That's not cool. That's low. But you don't need me to tell you that. It's all, it's all in the behavior. 
It's all on the behavior. So, that being said, as my internet connection is uh, going in and out, don't worry, people, this will be on YouTube. So, uh, you'll be able to catch up on the stuff that you missed. Okay. Enough rambling. This is an Archie show. Uh, this is an Archie stream. So, I'm going to get into it and, uh, things going up and down up and down yellow to red yellow to red I'm just I'm just gonna go you know So, first up, I'm going to draw some characters, I guess, if I can get this stupid thing working. Okay. You guys are uh, having trouble viewing this for whatever reason. It's coming in and out. I apologize, but... You know what? I, I, I gotta start the stream over. Um, no, I'm not. Never mind. I... I had a really uh, awful week, people. Going in and out of uh, sanity. feeling that the uh, the reference that I'm using for Jughead on this one the reference drawing was uh, done by either Fernando Ruiz or Dan Parent or for all I know it could be Stan Goldberg your guess is as good as mine now if you're at all familiar with Archie Comics or the uh, the really interesting and quirky characters that appear in them, you know that uh, Jughead is kind of the lazy type. Almost always finds himself in some kind of trouble. And he's... His, his weakness is food. I mean, it's like, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of who would win the, uh, the Nathan's hot dog eating contest on the 4th of July, Joey Chestnut ain't got a prayer against this guy. That, uh, that other gentleman, I, his name escapes me at the moment. 
I think he won uh, the uh, the last uh, Fourth of July thing. Okay. I swear to God, I think uh, Dan Parent did this drawing. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. Uh, the charity that uh, that we donated to last week is uh, MedShare International. So I encourage all of you to uh, donate to that charity should you uh, feel inclined to. People could really use the help, guys. So if you can spare a dollar, a dime, anything, you know. I, if, like I said... I just lost my job, but there are people that are far worse off than than I am. Ultimately, I'm gonna be fine. Is at a certain point, each of us experience uh, varying levels of fine, but in a time like this, fine is very uncertain. So, please help if you can. If you want to help me, then help me, but... <sighs> Somebody help those homeless. I mean, it's bad enough they, uh, they don't get the help that they need to begin with. And don't tell me that uh, some of them don't want it because I am inclined to believe that that's not true. Jughead's full name is Fortha is actually Forsyth Pendleton Jones the third. Don't ask me how I've known that, but I've known it since at least sixth grade. Because I read Archie Comics. Let me actually rephrase that just a little bit. I read comics that were published by Archie. Mostly Sonic the Hedgehog, which was published by Archie between 1993 and, what was it, 2017? So, I mean, 
There's there's a lot of history between uh, Archie and uh, and Sonic. Uh, some of it good, some of it not very good. <laughs> but uh, I know some of the uh, the people, the creative uh, teams that worked on it, and I gotta tell you, those guys are my heroes and uh, made me want to get into comics. So, and, and from what I understand, I don't know what Archie pays per page or whatever, but I do happen to know that they always pay on time. So, you can't sneeze at that. There's nothing to sneeze at. For those of you that uh, that feel inclined to uh, share this video to uh, at least help me increase exposure because I plan on doing uh, more episodes uh, more frequently, at least until I can get back on my feet, I would appreciate it. I, I am convinced that, you know, I am going to have probably zero money coming in as a result of this, you know, to my Patreon or my comics or any of that, but if I can at least get some exposure until this, uh, this pandemic, uh, passes and we get back to normal or as close to normal as we can be, <sighs> you know, feel free to share. Archie was created by um, artist Bob Montana and writers John Goldwater and uh, I believe uh, the gentleman's name was Michael Silberkleit. Silberkleit? Silberkleit? I just know that uh, his daughter, granddaughter, uh, Nancy is uh, heavily involved at uh, Archie these days. And from what I understand, she's a sweetheart. But I can't, I can't honestly say for sure because I haven't met Nancy. I would love to meet Nancy, and uh, that's that's really all there is to it. <laughs> <sighs> If I sound desperate, um, I am. I'm just, you know, doing the best I can to keep my spirits up.
I was late to uh, starting this episode for a number of reasons. Number one, I was about to bail again at the last minute because yesterday was just a terrible day. And I, um, when I finally decided that I was going to do it, I, uh, I had to wait because two of the three cats that me and my girlfriend have were uh, still outside. So, kitties first, drawing second. Kelly, this could be an all-nighter. Telling you right now. Even if it's not an all-nighter, I don't care. I got, unfortunately, nowhere to be. Sorry for yourself, you fucking asshole. Music is depressing. Change it. We're all in this together. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm doing my best, man. You know, and I, uh, I especially hope that all uh, all works out for uh, for Nick. He's a great guy. He says hi, by the way, as does Mark. characters they're kind of fun to draw or 
Fuji's been around for a very, very, very long time. He's been in radio dramas, he's been in animation, courtesy of Filmation. And uh, that show was actually really, really good. Really fun. Yes, from the guys that uh, that brought you He-Man uh, prior to He-Man. Oops. since I read the comics, so I don't know uh, who uh, Jughead is uh, currently uh, going around with. And I don't watch Riverdale. I kind of refuse to. But, if you're a fan of the show, so be it. I'm not going to ruin it for you. It's like, if you're down with uh, Thundercats Roar, more power to you. I am not watching that show. Consistent feed for the past 18 minutes. No dropped frames or any of that. Well, maybe a little here and there. Sometimes it's to be expected. You press the enter key on your keyboard, or return, or whatever it's labeled as. And it'll bring up the blob brush tool options. That's the tool that I'm using to do this. And you want to make sure that um, the color you have selected is the outer stroke. I mean, it's going to convert it to the, uh, to the inner fill anyway, but that's just how I feel comfortable working. You can do uh, what you will. But... What you're going to do is you're going to slide the, uh, the fidelity up or down, depending on your preference. Uh, the same thing goes with the size. And if you're working on a tablet like I am, um, that has pressure sensitivity, you can adjust the size of your brush slash cursor um, to your liking. I prefer to have... A, uh, a wider brush available if I need it. And uh, you can also change up the variation if at all necessary. But I prefer to have it, you know, larger if possible because you can always press lighter and still get a, uh, a thin enough line where you're not driving yourself crazy. But of course, you know, if you press hard, uh, you're going to get the, uh, 
the highest variation of the stroke, which is maybe not ideal, depending on what you're drawing. In this particular case, you know, these are uh, iconic uh, comic book characters. So they've been drawn with thick lines for about, I don't know, 65, 75 years, somewhere around there. I think next year we're, uh, we're celebrating Archie's 80th anniversary because he was introduced in Pep Comics number 22, I believe 1941. At the time, Archie Comics was known as MLJ Comics, which stood for uh, Montana... Um, trying to remember. I know it was MLJ. I forget what the acronym stands for, and I could look it up, but I'm drawing... So if somebody else wants to take it upon themselves to look for that, by all means. I'm not a historian anymore. I, uh, I traded that, uh, that in for other things, especially when I met other historians who knew a great deal more about my interests than I did. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, at that point, I was just like, I... I just, I just want to listen, because there's people that know more about this than I do, so I want to learn. <laughs> Tell me, share, share with me what you know. Because <laughs> that's, that's enough for me. I can believe everything that I read on Wikipedia, or, you know, I can trust somebody with, uh, more concrete knowledge of the subject to uh, set the record straight. Um, one person that fits uh, this criteria is a guy named Thad Komarowski. He's a brilliant writer, though I have yet to read his book uh, Sick, uh, Sick Little Monkeys, The Unauthorized History of Ren and Stimpy, and I may have butchered that title. Uh, he is also, um, along with uh, Bob Jakes, uh, who's an animation industry uh, veteran, um, producing a uh, bi-weekly podcast called Cartoon Logic, which um, you can support on Patreon if you feel inclined. Uh, they have rewards uh, starting at a dollar a week um, at various... Uh, levels above that, you can vote on the subject matter that they uh, that they talk about in an episode, in a future episode, I should say. And it's really good fun. It's really good fun. I mean, it's like I've learned more from them than I've ever learned from uh, you know spending hours and hours and hours on the Internet Movie Database. Those guys, they know their stuff. I, I would say that uh, that Jughead is uh, craving that burger, even though it's made of stone, but or plaster, or whatever material is uh, is available on uh, Amazon these days. <laughs> Because you can't go to AC Moore, you probably can't go to Michael's because the places are shut down, you know? At least for the time being. Hopefully we, uh, we get through this sooner rather than later, but, you know, I hate to say this, but uh, regardless of what you believe, and I'm not going to take that away from you, we're in the hands of medical science now. That's, that's just a fact. I 
am so glad that I ate lunch today. Even though I was still feeling kind of, you know, low. So, I almost didn't. But I went to McDonald's. Yeah, I know. I, I shouldn't eat that stuff, but, uh... You know, sometimes you just... You need to... Do things to uh, please yourself. And I did something to please myself. something behind this so that I uh, so that I don't miss anything. Usually I end up making this uh, this background uh, a color that I'm not gonna use in the finished piece but was an Archie uh, radio show uh, from the 40s that uh, was very entertaining and that I highly recommend. Uh, you could probably find it on YouTube um, because I doubt uh, there are collections of it that are available on CD anywhere. Though I... I... I would love to be surprised. But, uh... The, uh, the opening of the show was, uh, was usually, uh... Archie calling Jughead in a panic and being like, Jughead, this is Archie. Come over right away. It's a matter of life and death. And uh, Jughead's response is, Relax, Archie. Relax. As if to give us some kind of indication of the trouble those two were going to get into over the course of an episode. But, uh, you know, that's as, that's as much as I'm really going to say about it until you actually listen to it. And how corny and silly and ridiculous it is, but, you know, it's, it's, it's great fun. It's the theater of the mind, as it were. There was a Superman radio show, there was a Green Hornet radio show, there was The Shadow, there was a whole bunch of stuff, you know, that I highly recommend uh, looking up. Sometimes if you need, uh, time to look away from the screen, you know, I mean, that's, that's something I'd, uh, you know, recommend. I almost don't want to draw any other characters, but I'm gonna keep going. You guys think I should keep going? I'll answer that for you. You think I should keep going? 
Why shouldn't I? Now, like I said, circumstances have changed and, uh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna do what I can to keep my spirits up and uh, support my lady and uh, support my cats. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to move on to one of the ladies from Archie. In this case, uh, Betty Cooper. Yep. Everything's getting canceled left and right. I don't know what you're planning to do about um, uh, MCON if that's canceled. I understand. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I will not be disappointed. I would love to do it just to get, uh, get my ass out of the house, but, you know, it's tough, dude. You know? Jesus, Cradle Con. I didn't see that coming.
Okay, Nero. Nero DVD burning software. Okay, I don't need ads when I'm in the middle of friggin' Dresden Draws. Go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. Apologize for my momentary um, display of rage. Tell you right now, if Dan Parent was was uh, on this board right now, he would be schooling me on how to draw Betty and Veronica. the way that face looks. Okay. 
I mean, can... Can we have, like, less pictures of, uh, Betty Cooper in bathing suits? I know that's what a lot of guys like to draw, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to move a little beyond that if I can. I mean, if... if That's what I, that's what I hate about the internet, you know, I mean, it's like, how much, how much more can we degrade women? I mean, I know they're teenagers and everything, and I'm not saying that there's anything necessarily wrong with, you know, the, uh, the Archie guys doing that. I think, I think it's great, it's just, you know, I want to do something a little different. <laughs> I want to draw them wearing clothes, damn it. See, what am I going to have her doing? I know her personality is she's uh, kind of a tomboy. I'm going to have her uh, holding a football. There is absolutely no reason on earth for girls not to play football if they wanted to. My cousin Liz uh, played football either in middle school or high school for a couple of years. Like she made the school team. You look around, especially on Long Island, and uh, tell me how often that happens. I would like to say that it happens more, but I have a feeling I'm incorrect. Interesting the way these artists draw the jeans on these characters, but then again, you know they got their uh, their shirts tucked in. A lot of them. I don't know. Not my design choice, but not a bad one. You know. How else do you expect um, sh uh, pants to look with uh, the shirts tucked in? I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love these colors on this uh, reference drawing that I have here. I gotta bring up the fidelity. I generally don't go higher than the uh, the second level. gonna get in touch with Diana Leto. So I, I need uh, a lesson from her in how to draw hair. <laughs> people uh, voted on Veronica Lodge, so I'll be getting to her after I finish here with, uh, with little old Betty. Betty was introduced alongside Archie and Jughead in Pep Comics number 22, way, way back in the early 1940s.
see how else we got. Hey now, hey now, no, no, we don't go there. Come on.
forgot to draw the darn old belt. I'm so glad I do not have to buy this girl's shoes. I'll leave that up to uh, to Archie. All right, there we go. There's uh, Betty Cooper. <sighs> you know?
Well, either that or I'm a stick in the mud. So, that being said, I think I'm going to pass on drawing Veronica, even though she got the most votes. Sorry, but ultimately it's my show, and uh, <laughs> I try to please everybody, but first and foremost, I gotta please myself. Now, it's gonna be um, a very challenging time going forward. So, I wanna use this opportunity late at night to um, just relax a little bit because I got a lousy night's sleep last night for reasons I got into earlier. Um, I wish all of you, from the bottom of my heart, uh, the best of health and my best wishes uh, during this time so we could all use some uh, some good vibes. Some of us are losing our jobs. Some of us don't know where our next meal is coming from. Some of us are getting sick and dying. This is no way to live, but we gotta rise above this. And if we do it responsibly, then there's a good chance that, uh, that we will overcome this. So, like I said, this is not going to be easy um, for any of us. But speaking only for myself, it's going to be hell. So, keep your fingers crossed. But, um, one way or another... There is going to be a. There's going to be another Dresden Draws next week, next Thursday. I'm pretty sure of it. But, uh, you know, anything can happen. Hopefully, I'm uh, making money at something. But, um,. You know, at the very least, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do another, uh, maybe I'll move the, uh, the next episode up a little bit. It really all depends on a number of things. Um, yeah, I wish I had more to say, but now I'm just rambling you know, searching for words. So, be safe, everyone. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and stay drawsome.